What's up, guys? On this afternoon, I wrote a poem called I Need You. And if you want to read it, it's in the description. Just click on the link below. Now, I Need You is really, you know, talking about how there are people out there that need what God has placed inside of us. And sometimes we think we're not that important. Sometimes we feel like, you know, I don't have the money. I don't have the status. I don't have everything that I need to do what God's called me to do. But that is not an excuse. You know, that's not a reason to not step up to the plate. Because there are people out there that need you. They need those things that God's placed inside of you. They need the book. They need the music. They need the ministry. They need foundation. Because, you know, let me just give you a sample. If you ever been through rape or any kind of abuse and you know God's giving you this amazing testimony being healed from it, it would not be fair to the person that's dealing with it right now for you to close your mouth and not do you know, not do anything, tell somebody else. It would not be fair to them because you went through that situation for a reason. You know, we all here for a purpose. God gave everybody gifts. God gave everybody something to do. And the way your life has been set up, it's been set up like that to help someone else. You know, for me, if I didn't have my son outside of Whitlaw, you know, they'll probably you know, some things that I probably would not dare to do because I haven't experienced it. But because of me having my son outside of wedlock and for me just taking that step and trying to be the best mom that I can, you know, going back to school, you know, I'm in a great, you know, financial place where I can actually do more for my son. You know, somebody, you know, will see that and say, hey, I can make it too. You know, I can still live a say like being single. I can keep you know, I can keep myself until marriage. You know, I don't have to go after this guy or go after this person over here. Just take care of my children. I can do it because she did it. So you have to realize that you are important. That whatever decision that you make in life. And I keep saying that because somebody said it to me when, you know, I went to church, went to this church where life Sunday and I went, you know, after service for prayer and she was talking to me and telling me that decision that I make will affect some people. And sometimes we don't think that's an important statement. But when you actually think about it, the decision that you make today will affect somebody tomorrow. If you decide not to get healed from your past issues, if you decide not to break off that abusive relationship, if you decide, you know, even not to get saved, somebody's going to be affected by that. Somebody that was meant not to commit suicide because you're going to come along and tell them your story of healing. But since you decide not to do it, then they're gone. Or this guy down the street, you know, God has called him to be an amazing, you know, amazing, you know, this preacher, prophet, probably the next president of the United States. And that is going to happen because the ministry that you have, the ministry that you started on that same block they was in. But since you decide not to start the ministry, since you decide not to do the business, since you decide not to do, you know, the work to get it off the ground, then they're going to suffer. And I'm giving that loan example, so hope I ain't confused about it. But I'm just saying that your life has been constructed in a way to help somebody else. So don't ever regret decisions that, you know, the bad choice that you made in the past, because all of that was for a reason. All this for a reason. So I want you to take, you know, some time tonight and just really think about your life. Really think about things that God's calling you to do, place your heart to do, and really start preparing to those things because you never know who may need it. You never know. And, you know, we can't be lazy. We can't procrastinate. We can't come up with every kind of excuse. So I want you just to sit, you know, tonight, take at least about five, ten minutes and start thinking about the changes that you need to make in your life so somebody else can be saved, so somebody else can be healed and delivered by your testimony, by your journey, and your walk with God. So I hope you have a great evening, and I love you. Bye. Oh, and also Saturday, I will be at the Mississippi Book Festival, so I'm going to try to do like a little video there just to kind of show you what's going on. It's my first time being there, so I'm a little nervous about it because um, I have to really work on talking in front of people and just really interacting with a lot of people just sharing my story and journey and it also good why I start this YouTube channel just to kind of get used to it so you guys just keep me in your prayers and I'll just keep you updated with what happened on Saturday so bye